Lyra. Just got to find my shoes. Today, everyone was in a rush. I'm late, I'm late. Dad was late for work, and I was going to the town hall with Mum and Jemima because a very important person was visiting Sunny Sands. I really don't know what all the fuss is about. Here's what all the fuss was about. Her name was Princess Purpilovna. She was a very rich and a very famous film star who was known all over the world. Sunny Sands had never had such an important visitor. And everyone was so excited. I'm so excited. Apparently she's got a big idea for Sunny Sands. What kind of big idea? Some kind of plan to make Sunny Sands a better place. I wonder if she's got a plan for my bike shop. I could do with some help there. <laughs> yes, this was a day when we'd all find out about Princess Purpilovna's plan. Right, I'm ready then. Off we go. Oh, no, Grandpa. All that standing about outside the town hall, very tiring. You could watch it all on TV. Found my shoes, got to brush my hair. I need lipstick. If she's got some idea about making Sunny Sands a better place, I want to know what it is. I'm coming too. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. He can fly off in my plane. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. Or he could just run for all he's worth. Hurry up, Jemima. Mum and Jemima are coming. Quick, get down. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's shrinking cap. Hide! And nobody else is allowed to see him. Grandpa jumps straight into Dad's backpack. Oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? What a good idea. Right, I'm off to the bike shop. <gasps> this was a disaster. Grandpa wanted to go to the town hall with us. But now he was going to the bike shop with Dad. Dad, can I come to the bike shop with you? But don't you want to see Princess Purpilovna? Not much. I like bikes more than princesses. So off I went with Dad and Grandpa to the bike shop. What are we going to do today? I'm afraid you're going to be rather bored, Jason. Dad was right. And Grandpa was bored too. But we weren't going to be bored for long. I am Igor. Hello, Igor. How can I help? My car. It is sick. Your car is sick? Yes. Very sick car. And Princess Purpilovna, she is in the sick car. Princess Purpilovna is in the car? Yes, yes. Please, I borrow spanner. Of course. Princess Purpilovna, she is very angry. And Igor was right. Princess Purpilovna was very angry. <laughs> She was very angry and very purple. The car is sick, and I am sick too from all these windy, windy roads. Dad helped her to her chair, and I ran to get her some water. The car, it is kaput, and the driver, he is useless too. I'll go and see if I can help him. It is a disgrace that I, the very rich, the very famous, the very beautiful Princess Perpilovna, should be stuck in this terrible bike shop in this terrible old town. I knew Grandpa wouldn't like Sunny Sands being called a terrible old town. <sighs> but I am going to make this terrible old town much better. Oh, yes. Can you guess how? We were about to hear Princess Perpilovna's plan. I am going to buy the whole of Sunny Sands and paint it purple! <laughs> oh, but I'm feeling a little dizzy. I need a biscuit and a pickled cucumber. Um, I think I can do the biscuits. So now we knew the princess's plan. What plan would Grandpa have, I wondered? He wouldn't want Sunny Sands to change one bit. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beachette on the beach. 
and you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop, and here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops's shop, where you can buy anything and everything. Everyone loves Sunny Sands, and nobody would want it to turn purple. <laughs> I saw a little man. A little man went beep, 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 beep. Of course, I knew just who the little man was. Just need a bigger spanner. We're getting there. Are you feeling better? A little man went beep, 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 beep. Look, you've had a long journey. You're tired. I'm sure if you eat that, you'll feel better. I am not hungry. Here, you eat it. Thanks. Fetch me more water. So off I went to fetch more water. I thought the princess would be looking for Grandpa while I was gone. Where are you? <gasps> oh, the little bitty bitty man! Grandpa had gone too far. Oh, Don't stop! Don't stop! Oh. No. And just when I thought the princess was going to find him... Need bigger spanner. Igor, you must catch for me, little peepy -pee peepy -pee man. He is so sweet. You sit down. You rest. I don't want to rest. Yes, please, princess. Oh, no, you find me. Yes, you be mad. No, I don't. Down, I had please. found please. Grandpa. Please. But what was his plan? And how could I help? Psst. We've got to get her out of Sunny Sands. Yes, and. You sit down! I meant cock. I don't think you really want to live in Sunny Sands, Princess. It isn't a fun place at all. Any place that has a little peepy peepy man is a fun place. No, really, it's awful. We'd all like to live somewhere else. Especially me. <gasps> there you are. Whatever was Grandpa thinking? Oh, you must come with me to my country. Far, far away. Oh, yes, please. And I will build you a little purple house inside my big purple palace. And we will both live happily ever after in purpleness. Sounds wonderful. But we must go now. But I don't have a car to go now. We don't need a car. The shop is full of bikes. Jump! <gasps> Ready, Igor? Nearly ready. The good news was that Princess Purpilovna was leaving Sunny Sands. The bad news was that Grandpa was in her handbag with a jar of pickled cucumbers. That gave me an idea. Before you go, Princess, please can I have another cucumber? Of course you can. Help yourself. Tiggly, tiggly. Oh, <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Please, please. <laughs> I had to give Grandpa time to escape, so I needed to make the most of the cucumber. Ah, oh, oh, it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. You smell it. Mmm, <sighs> bite. Delicious! Oh, I could live off these. Careful you don't squish my little peepy -pee peepy -pee man. And at last they were off. Bye. 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 Yeah, bye. Yeah. bye. 
I brought Grandpa home safely in my pocket after his big adventure. I rushed into the house ahead of Dad. He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. She won't be visiting Sunny Sam's again with her purple plan. Teamwork. Teamwork. You were right to go and have a little lie down, Grandpa. She was bonkers. She thought there was a little man running around the bike shop. <laughs> <laughs> now that really is bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. Meanwhile, on the other side of the universe... My name's Cassie, and I'm lost. Lost after pirates attacked my father's ship. Run! I'll come back for you! But he didn't. So I went looking. And to help me, I hired the roughest, toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. And that's when my troubles really began. Cassie's log. Star date, the 12th of February. We have temporarily delayed the search for my father for a short stop on a deserted planet for, um, well, uh... What about here? No. Here? No. Why did you have to pick the only planet with nothing to go behind? Typical broad. Always judges a joint by its restrooms. Secluded enough for your highness? I still can't believe you bought a spaceship without a loo. My dad's had three. Then the sooner we find King Toilet, the better for both of us. I want to get paid, remember? 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 I remember when people lived here. Stinking sawdust. Who said that? I did. And who's you? I, who am all around you. Not the big guy. Look, I'm real sorry about all them bad things I did. That does not concern me. Uh, who's your new loud friend? I am this world. And my name is Walter. Uh, nice to meet you, Walter World, but we really must be going. Oh, that's right. Run out on me. Great idea. Catch my vote. Like my people ran out on me as soon as they could build rockets. Because of my boils. And my dandruff. And my bad breath. I hope he doesn't show us his piles. You know, you and I have something in common, Cassie. We both know what it's like to feel lonely. But I can help you find your father. You can? If you do me a favor first. Oh, great. So all we have to do is make people want to live on him again. That's about as easy as nailing a jelly to a wall. A team 359 is filled. <laughs> You couldn't give that planet away in a packet of cornflakes. But maybe you could sell it. Listen, Kubrick's interdimensional resort is the cat's meow for the fat cats and glamour pussies of the galaxy's glitterati, be they clothed horses, lounge lizards or style gnus. All flock here on the recommendation of fashionable resort critic Jean-Jacques Le Petit Pois. What? What? Hamster, how do you get to this place? Easy. Just say the magic word. Money. Welcome to Kubrick's Interdimensional Resort. Please approach the portal. I prefer Space Mountain. Welcome to Kubrick's. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I don't like your mustache. 
I meant, have you booked a room? Jean-Jacques Petitpois does not need to book a room. Monsieur le Petitpois? Monsieur le Petitpois? Monsieur le Petitpois? Monsieur le Petitpois? Oh yeah, that's me. You seem a lot furrier than the last time you were here. He can't be Jean-Jacques le Petitpois. <gasps> you look far too young, darling. Mwah, mwah. Tina Brown Nose, editor of Snub Magazine. Delightful to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take our honored guests to our finest rooms. After all, Tubrix is the number one destination for the cream of cosmic society. But not for long. <laughs> I have no idea why we did that. This is our finest room. Bring in my bags. Too small. I'll build a bigger one. Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Of course there is, madam. It's fly soup. One of our specialities. Okay, what about the spider on the salad? Hello. Uh, that I have never seen before. Voila, your new room. Still too small. It is kind of pokey. Manager, there's something disgusting floating in the swimming pool. Impossible. Eee! Hello again. This would never happen on Walter World. This way, folks, to the all-you-can-eat buffet! Wait! Who are these creatures? We don't have that kind of buffet. Room service! Send me for my room. I tell you, my room is full of bugs. Impossible! There have never been bugs in this hotel. Yeah, what's, what's up, up Doc? Doc? And you should see the hairs on my pillow. This would never happen on... I know, I know! Walter World! Conflicts in the beds? Check. Keep us in the sauna? Check. Now find the boiler room and really turn up the heat. By the time we're finished, this place will be about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Attempt 479 is a failure. <laughs> ah, the bells of victory. I am Jean-Jacques Le Petit Pois, and I want my usual room. Yikes! <laughs> of course you do. It's in here. But it used to be upstairs. Uh, we moved it because of the building works. Sometimes it's just too easy. Ah! Aha, the boiler room. And somewhere around here, there are heating controls. Come on, we're well, on coffee break. But these are the hotel's multi-dimensional reality stabilizers. Someone has to watch them or something terrible may happen. We got donuts. Oh, donuts. Yes, looks like the right place to me. This hotel will soon be hotter than the inside of a hamster's furry underpants. Service! Service! New balls, please. We booked a suite. But as size of you, sweets are the last thing you need. This is disgraceful. And yet you married her. Ah, marriage. Marry me and I'll give you everything you can afford. Henry, we're leaving. I hear Walter World is especially free of people like me at this time of year. And that is where we will go. Be sure you tell all your friends. If you can't tell your friends, tell mother. If you can't tell mother, then what have you been up to, you naughty little boy? Hamster, what's happening to us, eh? Ugh, either I'm getting funnier or the hotel's reality stabilizers are failing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Instead of being one hotel that's everywhere at once, it's becoming lots of hotels at the same time! We've got to get out of here. Uh, sounds good to me. Here's Jean Jacques. How dare you lock me in a cupboard? You've ruined my lovely hotel!
Не смейся, босс. Не смейся. Taking candy from a baby. At last! Success! Hmm, <laughs> population. Wow, what a lovely, wow, soothing pool. Now for a proper sauna. Really cleans away that dead skin, doesn't it? You know, I really do think this place is going to take off. <laughs> your side of the bargain. How do I find my father? <laughs> Have you tried looking down the back of the sofa? Hey, that's not funny. You said you could help her. Well, it's time she learned that sometimes the world lies to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have guests. He conned us. He conned us. He doesn't deserve all those visitors. Well, there are some visitors he does deserve. <laughs> What do I see in him? Treasure map! Hooray! Hooray! The captain cried with glee. And straight away, without delay, the ship put out to sea. They sailed all day, they sailed all night, they sailed 2,000 mile, until at last there came in sight that tropic treasure isle. They dashed ashore. We're here, we're here! Our fortune's ready made! T'was then the mate remarked, Oh dear, we never brought the spade. <laughs> This is too ridiculous. Treasure for the taking, and we haven't even got a toy trowel. He ain't grounds baked as hard as a rock cake. I knew I ought to tie the knot in my Yankee. Maybe we could sail back home and fetch some tools. No time, Pirate Barnabas. I happen to know that Cutthroat Jake's after this lot, too. Uh, maybe you could find something to dig with on the island. Uh, off you go. So the mate and Barnabas and Willie set off into the jungly undergrowth to look for tools, leaving Pugwash and Tom at the place where the treasure was buried six foot deep. I can't bear it, Tom. So near and yet... Listen! It's the crew. Maybe they've met Jake. <laughs> Maybe they've... Oh, help! Oh, help me! Oh, get away! They're, they're coming this way. Oh, dear! Oh, 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 dear. oh no! Oh, go away! Oh, oh! What happened? We, we was chased, Captain. By a huge wild beast, Captain. We great tusks and lumps and bumps, Captain. Here it comes. Oh, oh help, help! I help! Oh, dear! Oh, oh! Mommy! Oh, so that's what it is. It's a warthog. <laughs> Be very careful, Tom. It's all right, Captain. Treat it properly and... Why, of course. I remember reading somewhere. Warthogs love digging holes. Love digging holes. Digging holes? Holes? Treasure! It started excav excavating. Oh, he is going fast. He'll be through to Australia in a minute. He must be nearly six foot down. He 
He's done it! He's done it! Hooray! So the pirates carried the treasure chest in triumph back to their dinghy, while Tom made a fuss of the warthog and fed its special jungle roots as a reward. Very soon they were all back aboard the black pig, and the hog settled down to sleep it off in his cool, shady hole. Right, hoist the mainsail, weigh the anchor, and set course for home sweet home. Hey, Captain! You were right about Cutthroat Jake. He's on the island. He's making for the place where the treasure was. He's looking into the hole. He doesn't look too pleased. <laughs> no treasure, eh? He's prodding into the hole. <laughs> Our friend isn't going to like that much. <laughs> and he doesn't. He's after him. Oh, <laughs> this is Hooray! my lucky day. <laughs> Come on, Wardy. Go on, get him, get him. He's chasing him to the water's edge. He's catching up with him. He's nearly there. He's got him. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.